Hey everybody and welcome to this Studio One Quick Tip. My name is Lukas Roschitzka. Sometimes when you're working on a song and you're scrolling through your arrangement, you realize that the scroll range of your song is really, really huge. All that empty space at the end of the song. And that can be pretty annoying because it's hard to use the scroll bars at all when the actual events in your song only go up to bar 100 and everything beyond that range is just empty but you still can scroll up to bar 900. So here is why this happens and how to fix it. If you open the marker track, you can see that there's an actual event at bar 900 and that's the end marker. And that end marker means that we can scroll this far. So what you could do is just track the end marker back to the actual end of your song. But I've just shown you this so that you know about this marker what I actually recommend you to do is to go into the song menu, select song setup, and here we have these two settings, song start and song end. And these two settings define the position of the start marker and of the end marker. And you can see that for some reason song end is set to bar 900. But as you can see here in the arrangement, our song ends much, much earlier. So I can just click on the bars, enter a lower value, click OK. And now the scroll range of our song really makes sense and it's much easier to scroll through the song. And of course you can also extend the length of your song this way. If you decide to add a chorus or an additional ending, you can just set a higher value in the song setup. But here's another thing to know. If you move your end marker manually, it doesn't automatically make our scroll range smaller. We still have all that extra space at the end, even though there are no events. So here's the little trick. Right click here in the timeline or ruler where you have the bar numbers and select fit timeline to contents. And this will reduce the timeline to the events in your song and in this case, our last event in the song is the end marker. So this will make sure that we don't have this unnecessary space at the end. I hope you like this video. Please make sure to hit the like button and to subscribe to my channel to not miss any more Studio One tips and secrets in the future. Thanks for watching and I catch you in the next video.